What if I told you that 99% of financial models fail to earn full trust from the C-suite because they skip one critical component? Today, we're unlocking the structure behind elite financial model sheets that do more than calculate, they communicate trust. And yes, only 1% include all of these. In this video, I'll walk you through 24 essential sheets organized into five core sections, each designed to build clarity, accuracy, and trust. Here are the five key sections we'll cover. Intro sheets, input sheets, three statement model, modeling checks and reviews, and schedules. Let's break it down. Intro sheets, first impressions that matter. Cover sheet. First up, the cover sheet. Think of it like your model's handshake, clean, simple, credible. It includes the today function for real-time period tracking and year to pull dynamic fiscal years. This ensures your model never expires and stays contextually accurate. This sheet also provides the foundational segments of the model, such as the summary, dashboard, and schedules. Table of contents. Navigation made easy. This sheet lists every part of the model hyperlinked for fast access. It's the GPS of your spreadsheet and trust me, executives love not getting lost. Color coding guide. This page explains the meaning of colors and cell fills. Light blue, input cells. White, calculated formulas. Blue text means actuals, black, forecast. This instantly orients users, reducing confusion and increasing confidence. Goals sheet. Why does goal setting matter in modeling? Because it aligns the math with the strategy. This sheet documents what success looks like, whether it's revenue targets, margin thresholds, or cash runway. Clarity here means alignment later. The point here is to set quantitative targets so that, within the model, we can automatically track levels of achievement, for example, the net profit margin. Validation check sheet. The gatekeeper of trust. Assets must equal liabilities plus equity. Cash can't dip below survival levels. Covenants, they're tracked here. It's all green or red, no gray area. This sheet tells your chef financial officer, you can rely on this. Input sheets, the brains behind the number. Now technically, these come at the end of the file, but logically, they're first. Historical performance inputs. We input raw data here, historical financial statements and past performance. These serve as foundational inputs for evaluating and refining modeling assumptions. Often, adjusted historical data becomes the base case assumptions. Assumptions, base, worst, and best. Three scenarios, one model. We bake in risk, optimism, and realism using built-in formulas to switch scenarios on the fly. Because the C-suite doesn't want one version of the future, they want options. We enter key assumptions under three scenarios. Built-in formulas allow scenario switching for dynamic forecasting. Three statement model. The full model sheet. This is the output, the heartbeat of each model, income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow. No inputs here. It just pulls data from schedules and calculates everything automatically. Ongoing checks are built into the header. Is it balanced? Is it accurate? You'll know instantly. Executive summary sheet. Why does this matter? Because decision makers don't read every cell, they scan for impact. This sheet highlights key performance indicators. EBIT, cash runway, break even, key ratios. Clear, visual, direct. Modeling checks and reviews, the shield against doubt. Covenants sheets. Covenants aren't optional, they're lifelines. Here, we show debt service coverage ratios, leverage, and other lender-required metrics. Your model proves compliance 
or flags issues. Quality of projections. Are your forecasts too optimistic, too linear, too spiky? This sheet flags projection shapes, linear, exponential, cyclical, so you can course correct before presenting. This quality check ensures your projections are realistic and defendable. Goal checks sheet. Remember those goals previously settled? This sheet evaluates if the model meets them. Visual indicators show goal fulfillment over time. Graphs and visuals. I always include visuals in the model because not everyone thinks in rows and columns. Charts tell stories, revenue growth, margin compression, cash trends. This visual layer builds executive clarity and trust. Schedules, where accuracy gets built. Now let's talk mechanics, the schedules. Revenue and margins. This is the engine. Revenue forecasts are based on key drivers, assumptions, expert opinions, and historical data. We model cost of goods sold and gross profit here too. It's the foundation of every other calculation, so it's important to make this reliable. Salaries and headcount. Here, we plan the workforce. For companies under 100 employees, I recommend planning per individual, above that by roles. Includes base salaries, taxes, bonuses, raises, new hires, and more. Operating expenses. All other costs, marketing, office, software, planned and linked back to the income statement. Accounts receivable. Here we project receivables from revenue and day's sales, outstanding assumed. Includes multiple scenarios for realism. Inventories. In this sheet, we plan inventory levels based on cost of goods sold, procurement cycles, and day's inventory outstanding. We include few multiple scenarios option here. Accounts payable. Same logic here. We forecast payables based on purchases and estimated days payable outstanding. Together, these three schedules feed into net working capital. Net working capital summary. This sheet is a summary of the previous three categories projection as the basis of working capital, plus here we include other short-term assets and liabilities times. Calculates net working capital to plug directly into the balance sheet capital expenditure and fixed assets. Here we forecast investments, capital expenditure plans. Depreciation feeds into the income statement. The asset value flows into the balance sheet. Investments go to the investing section of the cash flow statement. Debt schedule. This sheet includes a projection of all loans. Revolving loans based on cash flow sweep, senior debt and mezzanine debt. Then we project interest based on costs and interest rates. Interest expenses go to the income statement, debt balances go to the balance sheet, and cash flows to the cash flow statement. Equity schedule. Tracks ownership, retained earnings, and capital inflows. Net profit flows here before hitting the balance sheet. Corporate tax. Pulls from projected profits, and calculates tax liabilities. We link this back to the income statement for clean net income numbers. Finally, we need to validate everything. If all checks are green, your model is tight. No guessing, no Excel errors. You've built a model that's accurate, logical, review proof, and C-suite ready. And if you think this is powerful, imagine plugging in AI for automated forecasting and variance analysis. Make sure to check out our next lesson, How to Build Financial Models with AI. You'll never model the same again. Until then, model smart and build trust.